Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and I wanted to do a flip through of our little By The Sea mini album. Uh, we made this yesterday, and then also at the end of this video, there will be the process of how we did the front cover and all of that, so you can stay tuned for that. There won't be any talking through it. <clears throat> through it. I just... Um, filmed it so I will just put some music on and let you watch how I did the process of the covers the front the back the spine and all of that now this is just some crocheted um, netting and it's an older I don't know how old it is but I got it in a package of vintage lace so I've just put that around it and tied it I didn't dye this I did dye this that I put on here but I didn't dye this so Everyone who gets it can dye that if they want to. Now, on the front cover, I just fussy cut this. I've got a couple of little tags right here in there. And then there's a little piece of the doily that we um, ink dyed behind there. Then just a couple of little butterflies. These are like the epoxy butterflies. And then there's a little heart right here. And then down here, I just used a little piece of vellum that was printed on and I rolled it up and made it look like maybe a little uh, map pirates map something like that I don't know and then on the end I have just cut the you know tore the paper and then put some of the vellum behind it there's a couple of little pieces of bling there and then on the back I tore the other part of the image out you know this is one side of the the paper and then this was the other part I put some little tickets down through here and then I fussy cut this and put it down and then I put some of that printed vellum behind that so that's how I did the covers now let's see I'm gonna make sure I covered everything out here then on the inside I just made a pocket right here and I put it on more of that little um, crocheted netting right there I brought in a little bit of that vellum and a little piece of that um, doily and then a little vellum right there and it just has a little tag on the front and you can journal on the back and then this pocket this is a pocket and it has a little tag with a piece of vellum for a pull and then journaling space on the back and then of course you have a pocket on each one of these so I just made a journaling tag with the blue that matches the paper and then some white and I put it down in each one of these I can get it back in there where it belongs there we go then let's see on this one there's a little belly band and I have just made a little booklet with some of my dyed papers in there so it's just got a little little booklet that I sewed together on the end so that just slides right up under there and then this I made just a little pocket at the bottom and put some little tags that was in the paper pack in there and then I just put a little piece of vellum and then one of my um, digital words on there again you've got a pocket with a little tag in there then on um, this one I put a little side tuck pocket and I just inserted some of the little tickets and that little piece that I had left over extra has her face on there. I thought that was cute. This is a little, this is cut out of the paper. It's just that little uh, emblem that looks like a little stamp maybe and then these are just little stamps and then up here is where I put that little um, wavy pocket at the top. You can slide something up under there if you want and let's see over here there's a pocket and a pocket this I made another little pocket on top of this pocket so this is a pocket right here and it has a little tag in there it's just like a little half tag and then this is, has a pocket and it has a little postcard tag in there so let's see then of course you have the other little tag in there and then you have a pocket here that has a this little image come from the Tim Holtz 
uh, snippets and then I cut this out of the paper collection and then these are just two tags that come from the paper collection but I'm gonna hold that up so you can see that it's some people at the beach so black and white photo and then this was just a frame that was in his collection and then I have another belly band here that's a Tina number label and then that's a Tim Holtz label on the outside this I just cut out of the paper collection and then I just did a little cluster right here with one of my words, some book page, and then a little epoxy butterfly. And that just tucks right under there. Another pocket. Each one of these has a pocket in it. And this, this page I left as is. I didn't want to cover any of that up. I just thought it was pretty. So you could put a photo on there or leave it as is. On here, I just used a little piece that I had laying on my desk that was already cut. And then this is from the Tim Holtz snippet. It looks like a little postcard. And then that's just one of the tags from the collection. And I just made that little pocket and put on there. Another tag in here. And then I made a tiny small pocket at the bottom here and just put two of the tags from the collection in it. And then this was just a little piece that I had laying on my desk and it said a grateful heart. And I just thought that went well with those little kids there. This is a Tim Holtz uh, stamp. This is a piece of vellum that I have just um, put some brown ink on. And then this is a little butterfly. And I'm thinking that's from the Tim Holtz field notes. And then that's from the paper collection. I love that image right there. So pretty. Another pocket. And then back here you have a pocket and I just slid a little tag in there and I put some coffee dyed paper on the back. You could write on that. And then over here I used a piece of Tim Holtz a little circle and then I used a little piece of my coffee dyed paper and then just a little snippet of this um, crocheted knitting and then a little piece of bling and I just made a little cluster and then here is just a tag that I made with a pull tab and then some little pieces of bling. And then you can write on the back. I covered the back with some coffee dyed paper. And let's see. Over here I put just a little flower from the snippets of Tim Holtz. This is a Tim Holtz circle. And then this I just cut out of the paper collection. It just says by the sea. I, I thought that was cute. This is a Tim Holtz number there and then I just made this little tag with some white cardstock on the back so you could journal on that. Um, I made just a tiny little pocket here that you could journal on top of this and then this is just a tiny little tag that I made and put in there. I used some of that crocheted knitting at the top and then just white paper on the back so you could journal on that. Just slide that down in there. This is just another tag in there. On this page, I wanted a lot of this to show, so I just did two little triangular uh, fold up fold outs. So this folds out. You could write on that. I put some of my um, watercolor dyed paper on, in that, and then this one folds down. You can do the same thing. So they're just little fold outs. They're made for the corners, but I I decided they looked pretty good there. So we did that. This page I really didn't do anything on because there's lots of journaling space and it's got all of those tags and things on there. So I didn't want to add anything extra to that. And then on this one, you've got another pocket. And I made a little tag, a little pull tab, put some bling on it. And then on the back, it's plain for you to write on. On this page, again, I didn't make a pocket or anything because I liked these little tags and things on here. And you can journal. I just didn't want to cover that up mainly. I just thought that was so pretty. And then of course each one of these has a little tag in it. The same tags. And then I made a little side tuck here. And then this is a little tag that I made. And with the back is white. So I just cut out an extra little piece from the paper collection and put there. I just thought that sailboat was pretty and that vintage girl. Loved all of that. And then over here, I made a little flip-up booklet. This is a Tina Numbers. This is some of my tea dyed paper. This is from Tim Holtz Field Notes. And then here, I just used some of my twine and just kind of twisted it. 
and made it look like, you know, those old rope that they use on the ships and things. And then this flips up and it has just a little staggered notebook on the inside and I have sewn it at the top. And this is our metallic watercolor in that yellow. I don't know if you can see it. That yellow metallic. I thought that's pretty. So that's what's in there. Another pocket and tag. And then on this one, you've got a little tag in there with a pocket. So it's got a tag and a pocket and then a place on the back to write. And then here I just did a little side tuck and you can fold that out and journal on that. And that's just a little side uh, triangle there. I thought those were cute. And that's my coffee dyed paper on the inside. And then here again, just a little pocket and a little journal tag. And a little pocket and a journal tag. And this is actually made from the back side of the paper because I ran out of paper. So I was using everything that come in that collection. So this pocket is made from the back of the paper collection. I didn't put a, anything on the top of that because I really couldn't find anything that went well. So I just kind of left it blank. And if somebody wanted to cover that, they could. Uh, here is just a piece of the paper with some little tickets down through there. And then this is from the front of the paper collection. This is the front cover. And I just cut her out and then covered the back with some of that sparkly metallic dyed paper. There you go. You can see a little bit of it. So that goes in there, and I just thought that was cute, her looking out of there. And then this is another pocket with two little tags inside it. And of course another tag down in here, right there. And then this, I made a little pocket, and then two more tags. And this is from the front of the paper collection. And this is just a scrap piece that I had. I made two more tags and put a little bit of twine in the top there. Okay, go back in there. You came out. There you go. And then this is the back cover, and I just did a little cluster down here, and then I glued that down so that doesn't come out. I keep trying to pull it out, too, but it doesn't come out. And you could put another little tag down in there if you wanted to, because that is, that is a pocket. And that is our little paper bag mini album. As you can see, there's lots of room in there to do all kinds of journaling and putting photos in, that kind of thing. But that is it. And then I just tied this around. You don't really need this to keep it closed, but I just tied it around there. I thought the person who gets it may want to use this for something else. And I just thought it looked cute with it being a By the Sea mini album. And I think this album is already sold. I think Elsa purchased this album last night as soon as the video went up. But we will be making more. I have some more that I will be putting up in the shop that, you know, I have made over the year. And just, I don't need them all. I, I keep hoarding them, but I don't need them all. So I'm going to put them up for sale. And I'll be uh, showing a flip through of those probably Monday, maybe. But that is... That is our little album. So stay tuned for the how I did the process of doing the covers and all of that. If you want to see that, stay tuned and I'll show that in the video here.
we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.